This week we're going to highlight the latest crop condition ratings and crop progress trends from the USDA. We're also going to take a look at the short-term weather trends as we edge ever closer to that critical pod set and pod fill time period. We're going to wrap things up with a long-term view on November soybean futures. Hi, this is Brian Basting with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the soybean market. We moved into the middle of July here, and of course that means we're edging closer to that critical pod set and pod fill time period for soybeans in August. Before we get there though, let's take a look at the short-term updated crop condition ratings from the USDA. Now these are the crop ratings as of Sunday, July 14th. Notice nationwide, we are unchanged from the previous week at 68% good to excellent. Last year at this time, we were on a 55%. A bit of a divergence, you can almost see the path of Hurricane Barrel, the remnants of that as it moved north and east. Improvement in, in areas such as Missouri, Illinois, uh, Indiana, Michigan, where that hurricane passed, and some deterioration in that western belt, notably in Iowa, and as well as parts of Minnesota and South Dakota. Let's now take a look at our aggregate crop condition index here. The crop condition index actually declined just fractionally this week from a week ago, but notice how it's well above many of those recent years, in fact, only the years 2018 and 2020 in recent times was the condition better than it is today. Let's now look at our crop progress here, specifically looking at soybeans blooming. We're looking now at a progress here around 51% nationwide. As we've highlighted now, over the next two weeks, on average, approximately 30% of the soybeans will be blooming. So on average, if we're seeing at the end of the month here, we'll be around 80 to 85% of the soybeans will be blooming. Let's now shift our focus to weather. Let's take a look at the short-term trends. Our slides this week, as usual, are courtesy of T-Storm Weather. And this is a slide we looked at quite a bit recently. It's a 30-day precip. This is last week's 30-day precip as of July 8th. Notice in Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio, we've highlighted there in that black circle, there were still quite a few areas there that were, were moderately dry, and uh, in some cases, bordering on intensely dry. Now we shift forward and highlight this week. Notice that change. All those areas are now in, in normal to actually slightly wet conditions. So that's what's been pressuring the soybean market, among other things, in recent days. Let's now shift our focus to the short-term forecast. We're looking here at trading and temperatures through Monday of this week, moderately to some cases much below normal. Very cool readings in that blue area highlight here. Highs only in the 70s and 80s, lows in the 50s and 60s. Moving into rainfall here, we're looking from Friday through Monday, mostly in that western belt, uh, highlighted there in areas such as uh, South Dakota, uh, Nebraska, as well as parts of Kansas. Now we're shifting into next week, July 26th, uh, beg your pardon, July 22nd through the 26th. All that area highlighted in green uh, could be looking at a half inch to an inch and a half of rain. Let's now quantify rainfall over the next two weeks. We're looking here at many of those areas here being normal to slightly wet. There are some exceptions as you go further into the northern plains. Parts of North Dakota may be a bit dry, uh, parts of uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin, but for the most part, some pretty good conditions leading into pod set and pod fill. Let's now shift our focus to trends in November bean futures. Now, November beans, as we tape here on Tuesday, are trading near 1045 a bushel. Notice here from mid-July all the way into that October crop insurance period, quite a bit of volatility has been observed over the years both to the upside and to the downside in November futures. This is why it's so critical to continue to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to manage price movement. Now, if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800-664-2321. We'll put you in contact with one of our risk management consultants who'd be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss an upload. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.